so welcome back to this little series that i'm doing this is like the pre continuation to the pre um emails the pre interview season for residency so i'm about to do a zoom residency um externship talk with the residents um so this program is one of my like top programs as well um and i don't remember if i was saying the name of these programs but just because you know whatever but um this is one of my top programs um i was gonna do it in person but the schedules never matched up and now that i'm back in dc i can't do it in dc because the program's not here in dc so the lady is allowing me to talk to the residents and everything so it's gonna be different than the other ones the other two y'all know i'm in person this one is on zoom and it's just a residence i'm not gonna be able to see the facility or anything which doesn't really matter too much um you know so i mean i feel like i can get a good feel from just talking to them i don't know if any of the attendings are going to be on there so that would be interesting if they are um so yes i'm about to just kind of freshen up my face it's supposed to be at two o'clock but i don't know um but yeah so I'm just gonna wear my scrubs. I have my scrubs on still. So yeah, I'm about to go freshen up my face and get ready for two o'clock. It is 1.50 now. So yeah, I'm just set up. So yeah, I will check in after the fact. Okay, bye. Okay, so while I'm waiting for them to send me the Zoom link, I did write down some questions on like a little sticky note. So I can just go over this really fast. So some of my main takeaways, and I think I asked, told y'all this before, like my location. Like, of course, I want to be in the southeast, Georgia specifically. So, I mean, that kind of narrows down a lot of places. But I'm pretty much applying in the southeast because that's where I want to be. But um, some questions I'm asking them are, you know, what's their hours? Um, if they have any dental assistance helping them or do they have to kind of like do everything on their own? Um, roughly how many patients do they see a day um, level of attending supervision so are the attendings more like hands-on or they're kind of like in their office where the offices are they tucked away are they busy do they kind of come readily when needed um, are they you know helpful or they're kind of like you should notice like run along type of thing um, does this program favor a specialty so like do they mainly see pros cases or do they mainly see a lot of extractions um but most programs i feel like they see a good bit of like everything but just want to ask um and then specifically how many like operatory rooms there are is there like a weekend on call situation like are they on call do they work weekends um do they do any like community outreach? Is there like any volunteerism that they have to do or do they whatever? Um, do they have to do any lectures or presentations or case presentations? And then um, do the residents kind of have like a good work resident life balance? So like, you know, just kind of ask them what they do. So yeah, so. I don't know if they're just going to tell me all this stuff. Not all this stuff, but um, normally once the residents kind of start talking, you kind of pick up a lot of the answers. But that's just kind of what I have just in case all these questions don't get answered. But yeah. So I am waiting for the Zoom link. She said she was going to send it earlier. She never sent it. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. But yeah, so just waiting. So I will talk to y'all when it's over. Okay, so I am back, but not because I've done the externship, because she emailed me while well, I emailed her, and I was like, are we still doing it? And the residents had to get, excuse me, fit tested. So she said, could we do three? And then I responded with 3.30. So here it is, it is 3.15, and I'm just out of breath because I just ran to the school. I had to get some stuff um, signed off and then come back here so now i like was driving so fast because i did not want to be late and the traffic is kind of heavy so 
yeah, so I got 15 minutes to catch my breath and get ready for this. So I will be back. <laughs> so it's 3.30 and so far I'm the only one on here. Okay, so we are done. Got my answers. Got all my my phone was blowing up while I was saying, but good thing I took it off vibrate because my phone would have been vibrating on its table, being very loud. Okay, sorry for interrupting. I been a minute since I was trying to record my review from the program um so I really like the program they have a lot of positives um that are like yeses for me I guess um I like you know their patient load I like kind of like their their spread of patients um I liked let me see I like that they don't have um, too much of like, not requirements, but like lectures and stuff, which is nothing wrong with having lectures. Um, but I think it's hard when you're in a program and you have a lot of lectures. It's like, okay, you're not really getting that patient experience because you're in lectures a lot. And the whole point is to be like increasing your speed. So it's like, if I'm gonna be sitting in lectures all day and then we only see patients on these days you know then it's like i feel like you can break your momentum basically and that's just me speaking i don't know like hypothetically or i'm speaking maybe from a dental student mindset um but yeah so i really love all the residents they were sweet um all girls so i'm like okay that's cute um so yeah so i really like the program and yeah, it seems to be a close runner up from the other program that I really, really loved. So, yeah, so I don't know. I'm gonna hurry and try to put my application in soon so, you know, things can get the ball rolling. But, yeah, I need to uh, su submit my other application. I'm just exhausted from all that. But, yeah, so I think this is gonna conclude my pre interview um my pre-interview externships because i only reached out to three programs and yeah so thank you for watching bye hey y'all oh my god oh my god i have not talked all day my voice is like gone so oh my god this is not cute but I've been in bed all day until now because I have a patient at two o'clock and yes, I'm driving and vlogging and no, you should not be doing this. But, um, but I wanted to tell y'all, I have a car mount, as y'all know, but I just refuse to put it on this, this thing on the mount. I just don't feel like that. But anyway, so y'all know it's residency season and I've been applying while I applied to my residencies and I was going to talk about this more in another video, but I probably can just put this clip in my part two of my residency. But anyways, um, hold on, sorry. But anyway, so the program, one program that I applied to, because y'all know I'm going to be in the southeast, specifically Georgia. So one of my top programs, um, the application portal emailed me yesterday and said, that they are not accepting applicants for the 2023 cycle so i am so disappointed because that program was not my top program like i don't that's not where i want to go number one but that definitely was a program i felt confident in like if i got in like i would be fine because it's in georgia and it's like in um albany which is like it's like in between atlanta savannah but it's like closer to like alabama like it's in a weird like place but it's like fine you know so i'm just so distraught so they gave me money back um 
they gave me like a coupon code to get money off um or to get to add another program for free but there's no other program that i want i'm sorry the lighting is so bad right now i'm so sorry i should just put this on a damn mount um but there's no other program that i'm like interested in like like y'all for real there's no other program that i'm like oh like i should apply to that because the ones i wanted to apply to i applied to like what so there is this one program and um well i'll say there's programs that i did initially apply to but there is another program in florida and there's another program in alabama that i might just apply to because i have basically have a free not even free it's not free because i already paid for the damn thing but i have a you know a, a coupon code to apply to another program so i don't know i've been kind of thinking on it looking at them again so i don't know i'm just annoyed because it's like why aren't y'all you know why aren't y'all accepting new applicants like i need a i need a freaking explanation y'all can't just do that but yeah so i'm on the way to school to see my patient at two it is 1 30 1 40 so yeah i'm just I'm just very distraught right now guys so just bear with me but yeah you should have seen my first um residency thing by now so yeah so if you have any questions just let me know and i'm going to continue this little residency chat later okay